Hey guys, I want to talk about a story. It says Nicki Minaj and Rihanna set the internet on fire because they met together and sat on a couch and took a picture together. And it was seen as this great power move between two powerful females in art. And I really don't have too much of a problem with Rihanna, but Nicki Minaj is the one that really, you know, to me, she doesn't have any talent. Um, she's a rapper and she tries to cover her lack of talent by her sexualization of herself, right? So her only appeal is that she's got this fake big old butt and everybody's supposed to look at it. And everybody's supposed to like her and she plays the whore as much as she can. Not Maybe not as much as Cardi B does, but she does play on her sexuality to get attention. And that's really her where her fame comes from. Her fame comes from attention that she gets from sexualizing herself. Um, and... The problem that I've always had with Nicki Minaj is that lots of others are following her footsteps. Let's just say that she could just be um, a whore on her own. OK, fine. I would have a problem with that. But hey, <laughs> it's the oldest profession. Fine. But the problem with her doing that is that she leads lots of other young women to follow her example. They see all the wealth that she has. They see all the fame that she has. And what you really get is this. They crave attention. Now, attention is a basic need that mainly more females have, but men have it too, but females have it to a higher degree. Men have a, a basic need of respect, but women had this basic need of attention. But the problem with social media in the culture today is that we feed that attention to the point that it becomes an addiction for some women. I've had women and I've known women who will put a post on Facebook and they only got like 300 friends. Right. So they're not famous, but they'll make a post. And if it only gets five likes, then they'll delete it and then rephrase it so that it get tens likes. And what you really get is there are people who are panicking and paying so much attention to these fake statuses and fake pictures that they put up, basically creating a fake image so that they can get attention. The same women will post pictures of themselves working on in spandex, but then they will get mad at the comments that men will make. But really, I really don't think that they mad. I think what they're trying to do is get more attention to what they did. People pay more attention to somebody that screams, right? So something happens. They scream. Ah! This happened to me and everybody looks and then they talk about that forever. So if it really bothers them that much that it happened, why are they talking about it forever? If it's that traumatic, why are they so unhappy to talk about it? So what happens is the attention breeds a desire for more attention. It becomes an addictive drug and it destroys the person who seeks after it because you can never get enough attention. It will be like a man chasing after sex. He might think he'll be satisfied by sex, but he truly will not because the thing that he is trying to seek to satisfy can never be filled. It's a hole that cannot be filled. And the same with attention. When could you ever say you have enough attention? A million followers? Two million followers? Three million followers? And so what happens is you build up these followers and now you got to do something to get it because you don't get that many followers and not do something for it. So now you get driven farther and farther and farther. Now you got to make a sexual song. Now you got to make WAP. Now you got to make these other things. And I know that's different artists than her, but the point is they're all in that same sphere, right? They're all in that same sphere of, I don't have talent, but I'll sexualize myself or ratchet myself. And that's how I'll sell myself. Another problem that I have with the Nicki Minaj of the world is that they don't care about the black woman's image at all. Um, it's a shame that black men got to care more about the black woman's image than black women do. But the truth of the matter is, is that she's hurting y'all image and y'all got to talk to that. You guys need to speak out to the fact that you got Nicki Minaj's and they should not represent you. You got to speak up for that because there's lots of girls out there and there's lots of people from other cultures who are looking and saying, oh, that's the way that black women should be. That's the way they think they should be. And you got to say no. And the church needs to speak up against people like that, because even if the picture is not something that should bring so much outrage, the idea of who she is is something that we should oppose. So whenever I see her story, I always cringe and I always roll my eyes because I know it's going to be another attempt to sexualize herself and get attention with her fake body that is cartoonish and laughably unappealing to me. So, hey, if you appealing, if you think that she's appealing, grow up and be a real man. Stop looking at these comic book characters. Um, grow up and look at some real women that look really attractive the way that God made them to be. 
Um, and if you're a woman, speak up against this because this is foolishness.